Let's look at some different scenarios of multi-hooping. This design is a workpiece layout design and is the simplest type of multi-hooping projects. Designs span over a large area but don't connect. Each design fits within a single hoop. This design combination was created using the Define Work Area in the Layout Toolbox. The layout will give you a preview of how the design will look on a table runner. Each design must be hooped individually and only one placement point is needed for each design and that will be the center of the design in the center of the hoop. No reference marks are needed and you really don't need to use the multi-hooping toolbox unless you want to lay out your design using the layout toolbox to get a preview of how the designs will look on your project. Once the project is designed as a combination design, you can go to the multi-hooping toolbox, click on options and uncheck add registration marks on output and click OK. Click on automatically add hoops and click OK. Registration marks are not needed because each design will be sent to the machine individually. Return to the digitized toolbox and make sure in the design that auto start and end is set to auto start at the center and end at the center. This is the default setting. Let's take a look at how to stitch this design. First, mark the desired design center of the center design on the table runner. Draw a cross mark guideline as well. You can mark an alignment guide running through the center of the table runner along its length to help you place it evenly and correctly in the hoop. Align the first design using the marked center. Use move motif to align the needle with the marked center. Once aligned with the center, stitch the first design and remove the table runner from the hoop. Mark the center of the other designs and repeat the process. You can use a tape measure to get the center points spaced correctly according to your planned layout in the software and mark a cross mark for the other design centers. Align each design according to its design center and use move motif if needed to move the needle position to correspond to the marked center. Then stitch the side designs.